So how can we perform a rotations on an image in computer vision using OpenCV? <music> Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate an image using OpenCV library. First, I will explain the concept and then later on, I will show you its implementation using Python code. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you are already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also, we now have the AI University mobile app and the website which is in beta mode right now and you can download the code related Jupyter Notebook uh, by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So rotation is an uh, affine transformation and if you don't know what is affine and non-affine transformations then watch the video link of which is given in the i button above. So as I told you in the previous video image rotation uh, is the process of rotating an image in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Let's take an example to uh, explain the concept. So here we have an image which we want to rotate in anti-clockwise direction. This is how the image will look like when we rotate it uh, in the anti-clockwise direction. Now there are two parameters required to rotate an image. Number one is the point at which you want to rotate an image. In our case, we rotated the image about a center. This point here, right? Now second one is the, or the second argument uh, is the angle at which we want to rotate the image. In order to rotate an image, we make use of a matrix called as rotation matrix and which we can uh, denote by R. Theta here is the angle of rotation. Now let's see how can we do rotation of an image using OpenCV module. So let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. So here is the Jupyter Notebook. So first we will import our familiar CV2 and NumPy modules. In the next line, we are reading our image using imread function, giving the path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as input image. Then I'm showing the original image uh, so that we can compare it with the rotated image. So in the next line, we are trying to extract the height and width of the image using shape function here, as you can see. And we are applying this function on the Im input image and taking the first two elements from it which depicts height and width. In the next line I am uh, just printing the values of the height and width to show you the corresponding values. Then in the next line we are defining the rotation matrix using a function called as get rotation matrix 2D. This function performs scaling and rotation at the same time. This function takes several arguments and number one is the tuple of coordinates of center point of an image. It doesn't necessarily to be center of an image, you can rotate an image at any point. In our example, we are taking the center point okay, and we are defining that center as height by 2 and width by 2. Second argument is the angle of the rotation theta which we defined as 45 degrees and the last argument is the scaling factor which is 0.5. In the next line, we are making use of warf affine function to rotate an image using rotation matrix R. This function takes several arguments and the num number one argument is the input image. Then the number two argument is rotation matrix R. Then we have a tuple of width and height of the image which we extracted earlier. And then I'm using I am show function here to show the rotated image, right? And the usage of wait key and destroy all functions we already know from the previous videos. Um, if you have jumped directly here, then you can find the link of those video uh, of that video in the i button above. So let me run this cell now. So you can see that this is my original image, and this is my image which has been rotated at 45 degrees. Okay, so this is the way we can rotate the image. Now we can also flip the image horizontally or vertically as if it's a mirror image of the original image. We can use OpenCV's flip function to flip an image. 
and this function takes two arguments number one uh, argument is input image we want to flip and number two uh, the coordinate axis around which we want to do this uh, image flip this coordinate axis is either x axis or y axis if you want to flip it vertically then mention this parameter as zero and which is this parameter and if you want to flip it horizontally then mention this parameter value as one which is already mentioned here so let's see it in action let's first keep the value as zero so we have kept the second argument value as zero here so you can see that image is flipped vertically right now let's close it and change this value to one and rerun the cell perfect so you can see that image is flipped horizontally here so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover the in another important topic of the uh, computer vision using opencv series so here is today's question why are we using warp affine function in the code shown in the video please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you